वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स ओके टुडे आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग बायनामेल थ्योरम द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर गेटिंग ओके सी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू एक्सपांड बायनोमेल ऑफ हायर पावर्स द फॉर्मूला व्हाट इज बायनोमेल थ्योरम ओके वी हैव अंडरस्टूड बट व्हाट एवरी टाइम नो नीड टू कैलकुलेट फुल एक्सपांशन Now the here in this uh, sum, I am explaining you how to find a particular term, or how to make operation of particular term. First, we have to find the term, and there might be something missing. Whatever, whatever, we can find out. Okay. See, in this sum, you just have to find seventh term. Just seventh term, you have to find in the expansion of two x minus one upon x square raised to ten. This is a binomial 2x minus 1 upon x square power 10. Now to find seven term, will you expand all eleven terms? No. Okay. So particular term, how to find? I am explaining. Whenever seventh term you have to find out. It means r plus one equal to seven. Getting? If r plus one equal to seven, then r equal to six. Right? Plus one shifting that side. Okay. N equal to 10 is the power. of binomial okay now general formula of general term i am giving you tr plus 1 okay is equal to because of this minus sign minus 1 raised to r getting it because minus sign is there if plus sign is there this term minus 1 raised to r is not needed because all terms are positive right okay now a a is your first term a minus b a this is A is your 2x. A raised to n minus r, and b that is 1 upon x square raised to r. Getting? I am putting the values of a, b, r, and n. Minus 1 raised to r, r equal to 6. So minus 1 raised to 6. Now minus 1 even power always just 1, and minus 1 odd power minus 1. So minus 1 raised to 6 is we can just ignore because it is just 1. N C R that is 10 C 6. Okay. Now A is our 2x raised to n minus R that is 10 minus 6, and B that is 1 upon x square raised to R that is 6. Okay. So minus 1 raised to 6 gone. 10 C 6. You know how to find the value of C C 10 C 6 N C R. You have learned in combination chapter permutation combination. Okay. So 10 C 6 value comes to 210. No need to draw a Pascal triangle. Just you find out 10 C 6. 10 C 6 using combination property. 10 C 6 equal to 10 C 4. By 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 upon 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Just simply cutting, you can get it. Okay. Now 2x raised to 10 minus 6 means 2x raised to 4. And one upon x raised to one upon x square raised to six is one upon x raised to twelve. Okay. Now two x raised to four. We get two raised to four. That is sixteen. X raised to four into one upon x raised to twelve. Now two hundred and ten into sixteen. That comes to three three six zero. Okay. Okay. Now x raised to four into one upon x raised to twelve indices. One upon x raised to eight. So three three six zero upon x raised to eight. Hey, you can write three three six zero x raised to minus eight, but okay, depend on the answer. Understood? So any particular term you can find out using this formula. One example I gave you, you can solve different sums in your from your textbook. Any sum you are not getting or going wrong, you can ask me. Getting? Now, they may not write seven. Find the middle term. How to find the middle term? Okay, x a plus b raised to ten means there are eleven terms. Eleven terms. Okay, eleven plus one is twelve. Twelve upon two is six. Six term will be middle term. You can write from one to eleven. Just find out the sixth. So t six you have to find. If they write, find the middle term. Getting? But if The power is odd, like uh, a plus b raised to eleven. Okay, then how to find out? Okay, 
then there are 12 terms in the expansions 12 upon 2 is 6 now 6 and 7 they are both the terms you have to find out they are the middle term t6 and t7 you have to find out or they might give the coefficient in the expansion is this find k one might be number one number might be k l m whatever unknown you have to find out use the same formula equate only this term will be given one k will be here and just by shifting you can find out if you are not getting practice such sums so you will get used to it any doubt you can ask me i will solve for you understood we'll go to next sum copy down the sum and practice keep on practicing that will only improve your maths formula you can't learn by doing more and more sums automatically formula fits in your mind okay we'll go ahead with the next sum okay students we are going ahead with similar sum okay see here in this sum you just have to find out the coefficient of x raised to 9 in the expansion of this x square minus 1 upon 3x raised to 9 now there are so many terms only one particular term will contain x raised to 9 okay and you have to find that term understanding they may write find that term independent of x it means no x power only number will be there which term you don't know so how to find out that term okay let's see we will write the general formula tr plus 1 is equal to minus 1 raised to r 9 cr a a is your x square raised to 9 minus r because and b is 1 upon 3x raised to r n c r a raised to n minus r b raised to r okay so minus 1 raised to r now r value we don't know okay once we understand the value of r we can easily find out the coefficient a 9 c r x raised to 9 2 in 2 9 18 18 minus 2 r okay into 1 upon after this r goes to 1 upon 3 raised to r and x raised to r understanding okay so these are the coefficient will separate out minus 1 raised to r 9 cr and 3 raised to r only this part we require but don't know the value of r Gendi? then we can easily find out the answer into at the 18 minus 2 r and x raised to r is shifting up 18 minus 2 r minus r indices rule now this power we want 9 18 minus 2 r minus r minus 3 r 18 minus 3 r we want equal to 9 so 3 r equal to 9 r is equal to 3 and we got the value of r getting students see so only this is the coefficient part we will find out because that is only us find the coefficient of x is to 9 understanding r we found minus 1 is to 3 minus 1 is to r was the coefficient but r is 3 since it is an odd number the sign will be negative minus 1 is to 3 is minus sign and 9 c 3 you know how to find out 9 into 8 into 7 upon 3 into 2 comes to 84 okay 3 raised to 3 you know 27 okay again we can cancel the common factor 3 is a common factor both both that comes to minus 28 upon 9 is the answer is the coefficient of x is to 9 in this expansion and we got the answer understood the sum simple sums but little mistake can some go wrong okay if some is a find the coefficient okay, find the independent of x term means x is to 0 you have to equate 18 minus 2 r minus r 18 minus 3 r equal to 0 whatever this power you have to equate to that whatever you get after completing your indices understanding 
Is he some? In my next video, we'll go to higher level. Useful for JE mains. So, if you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe fast. More and more interesting videos are going to come. Understanding? That will make your efforts easy. Maths is easy. Only you need particular direction. If you go in the wrong direction, if you forget your direction, then only you find maths difficult. But if you are on the right track, you need just need practice. Keep on solving, keep on solving. And you will be on the right track. And victory will be yours. Okay? Write down the sum. Like, share, subscribe my channel. If you understand my teaching, any problem, you can write in the comment box. I will come to know what you want in the next videos. Vagere, vagere. Getting? I, will I am trying to help you. I will write, solve more and more sums. So you will get good practice. But please support me. Support my channel. Thank you.